Hey everyone, Jonathan Taylor here with the BIB Podcast bringing you another video tip this week. In this week's video, I want to show you a new program that I've come across called VideoScribe. And what this program allows you to do is create some of those really uh, neat looking uh, hand-drawn animation videos that you see that are very popular these, day these days. Um, if you've come across them, uh, you know, if you're like me, I get sucked right into them watching the whole presentation, even if I'm not even interested in the uh, topic. I just love watching that whole process of those being drawn out. Well, I've come across a program, and I've looked around uh, for quite some time on something that would allow me to do something very similar um, that was affordable, and I came across a program called VideoScribe. And what I like about this is it's very easy to use, very intuitive. Uh, you don't have to be an artist. It, you don't have to be. Um, uh, it doesn't take a lot of expertise to get started with this. In fact, it's a very simple program to uh, to use. And I'm going to show you how it works. Now, here's a sample board that I've laid out with some of the graphics. Um, and what I'm going to do is come up here, and I'm going to click the play button. And you'll be able to see straight from the start, it's going to um, it's going to start the presentation with the text, and then it it will start drawing out a lot of the uh, sequences, the um, graphic sequences that we've got laid out. And so it's going to go through that whole presentation, and uh, and I'm going to show you how exactly you can do that. Now I'm going to back out of this a little bit, zoom out. So we can see we've got our storyboard, we've got it laid out, and we can start from a, uh, a blank sl uh, slate too. In fact, what I'm going to do is come up here and click on the, back to the home page, I'm going to click on the uh, plus for creating a new. Uh, and I'm probably going to change, what's neat about this is we can change our canvas if we want to go with a just plain white. I like to go with kind of a, a really clean white background. So we can start with... Uh, if we want to start with our text, it's very easy to do. We just go up there and click on the text. And just for starters, I'll go welcome to the And so once we've got that laid out, we can actually move the text around. You see it's very easy to um, put everything in place, uh, lay everything out on the canvas. Uh, so once we click that, just to show you what that'll look like, I'll just click that and it's going to start drawing that out. Now, unfortunately, so far they only have one font, which is this right here that we're looking at. Uh, they do say that they are going to be getting some uh, additional fonts here pretty soon, and um, so that that is on the way. But right now, this is the only font that we have to work with, which is okay. Now, as far as graphics goes, here comes the fun part. We can take, we can go up here to where the little pencil is. We can click on the library of images and we can go in and pick out some images that we want to use we can use uh, we've got emotions we've got food and drink uh, we've got household money uh, office um, if we wanted to uh, for instance put a picture of a uh, computer or a laptop we can do that we just click on the image of the laptop put that right under right under our title and we'll just delete one of those uh, so once we click play it'll say welcome to the BIB podcast and then it goes down right where I place the graphic and we'll start drawing uh, the next graphic so this is really neat you can do this uh, you can just keep adding graphics uh, text graphics illustrations um, one of the other neat things they have I'm gonna back out for a second uh, one of the other neat things is they've got arrows. We can go in here and click on arrows. Um, click on an arrow to make an illustration. And uh, the great thing about it is we'll go up here and click on this. As you notice, there's a um, down here there's a time frame, 3.5 seconds. You can set the time frame of how fast the drawing uh, will take place. So that's another feature. So if we go ahead here click play start at the beginning again
and so forth and you can keep creating sequence after sequence um, just like a lot of those uh, animation drawing uh, videos uh, you can do all sorts of stuff another great thing up here um, up at the very top you can add music you can add background music if we, you want to add uh, background music into your um, into your uh, video you can click on that. so you got a lot of different uh, a lot of different sequences there that you can use uh, you can also, if you go up to the little microphone, you can add a voiceover. You can record a voiceover for your presentation while you're, uh, that records your voice while you're giving uh, a presentation, um, while you're using this as a presentation. Now, other things you can do, again, you can, uh, there's uh, just a, a, a huge library of things that you can pull up from uh, that you've got, um, uh, that you've got, uh, for instance, you got we've got a sign here. Uh, we can put that up there, and then if we want to look at what that's going to look like directly from the uh, the graphic, we can just click five. And if we click play from there, it's going to give us an example of what that'll look like. So again, we can we can do sequence after sequence, and this is your timeline. As you can see down here, this is your timeline for moving all of this around. If we want to shuffle sequences, if we want to uh, shuffle sequences on the timeline, we can click and move uh, slides down uh, one before another. So it is very easy to uh, to utilize and to learn, and uh, that's one thing I like. Now you may be thinking, well, what if I want to import some of my own drawings into this um, into this animation? Well, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, you can come up here, and I've got one of my own drawings already laid out. Okay, so this is actually a drawing that I've made that I've uh, saved as a image file on my desktop and uh, I can use that I can actually use my own drawings and if I move that down to the very front I'm going to move that to the very front right after welcome to the BIB podcast and if I click play Now you notice it's a little slow in uh, in drawing this out, and if I want to, again, if I want to speed that up, I can come over here, and I can speed that up to about five seconds. We'll make it 5.5 .5 seconds, and then we'll just uh, let's see, let's back that out a little bit, and then we'll play. So you can see it draw any drawing that you use that uh, you've drawn out personally. You can actually incorporate into uh, into this, and uh, instead of using the, the graphics they have, so you're you've got really a lot of option when it comes to creating uh, these types of videos. So once you got everything lined up, we can click here. And then it'll just kind of go through the whole uh, sequence of each one. Now you noticed it went in according to the sequence of the timeline down here as I've got the slides. And again, like I said, you can move these. Uh, each slide that you've got has a little left, uh, a left and a right. Uh, arrow that you can slide those down in the uh, time sequence uh, if you want to insert a uh, picture or an image uh, that you want to use or if you need to move something down uh, and it's out of sequence uh, you need to um, change that a little you can do that pretty easily as well another feature is you can come up here lastly after your video after you've got your animation ready to go you can come up here and you can click the create and share video and if we want to label that 
click OK. And then once we've done that, we can select the quality. Uh, how we want to import this, we want uh, QuickTime uh, MOV. Uh, we're going to use the uh, .mov file. I'm going to keep it, um, we'll pr usually keep it around this quality. We want to keep the file size down, keep it at about 15 uh, frame rates per second. 640 by 360 looks good. I do want to make sure the scribe, video scribe logos are not on my video. I want to make sure those aren't on. And if you have the free version, those are going to, um, you can download the free version of this, but these, uh, the logo is going to appear. If you've got the paid version, uh, you don't necessarily, uh, you won't have that. So once you've done that, uh, you can click the create the, uh, create the video, and it's going to go through the process of rendering this video. And depending on the length of it, you know, will depend on how long it will take. Okay, now that we're done, if we want, uh, we have some options. We can upload it directly to YouTube. We can upload it to uh, Facebook. We can save it <coughs> to our own computer. And then if we want to uh, import that into another video editing software to make some changes, we can do that. Or we can send it to a Dropbox folder. So a lot of options there. Um, normally what I would do is save it uh, as I might be adding it into some other uh, video, um, into another video editing software like Sony Vegas along with some other stuff that I'm working on. Uh, this is great to create maybe title screens and things like that uh, or intro. Um, intro title screens for a video uh, this is this would be uh, great uh, you can create that and then uh, add this into your uh, video editing software for um, for the rest of your video as well so this again it's video scribe you can find it over at uh, we've got a full review over at bibpodcast.com forward slash video scribe uh, you can download a free copy of it and uh, if you do um, you do. I think you're limited on the free copy of what uh, what you can, um, uh, the amount of graphics that you have, and and you don't have all the functions. But they do have a uh, a free copy that you can check out if you do like it. You may want to go for the uh, fully paid version, which is about nineteen dollars a month, or you can get a discount if you buy for the full year. I think you get three months off. Um, but again, very very cool program. If you do a lot of video, if you do a lot of animation stuff, if you uh, can envision doing a lot of stuff like this for your own business, it might be worth checking out. Again, this is Jonathan Taylor with the BIB Podcast. Uh, thanks for listening. If you haven't subscribed to our weekly podcast, go ahead and do so over at BIBpodcast.com. Thanks again for watching, and God bless. Have a great week.